Hi and welcome to this little clip today. I do it because today on the 12th of July the James Webb Telescope did the first pictures or we the astronomic guys say the first light. Um, the, you can see these pictures on the NASA web page or on the dedicated James Webb Telescope page. And I do this video because I follow this telescope a long, long time and I'm very interested in this type of astronomy and astrology systems. Myself, I do astrophotography a long, long time and I'm a friend of this kind of um, knowledge and science because you can see in this amazing uh, science and guys they do this work with this uh, telescopes uh, for example like the Hubble like the other telescopes and now the James Webb telescope it's a great great uh, piece or a great great machine to take now deep sky deep space pictures and look further to what happened in the space on the pictures you see um, so ma m many in a match galaxies each of this little point is a galaxy and I'm so excited and happy to see this pictures now so clearly because it is great uh, what now our science can do and it is so incredible and sometimes uh, unreal what's ha what is there out and what can you do where <laughs> sorry um um for my broken words in conclusion it is crazy now to see how deep um the space is and maybe we are not alone or no nobody knows really what's happened in this amazing space or in this cosmos and what I want to say the, uh, the amazing pictures what I now show you is this kind of curtain and I read out from the page of the NASA in this picture you can see uh, stars get, get born and that is crazy how how this picture is taken uh, took uh, by this telescope and how how mad how amazing this picture is spread or the whole screen if you open it especially if you have ultra wide screens and or if you have a huge huge television or projection screen it's so amazing <coughs> to see this um uh the other picture you want to see, you can see a dying star, and it's incredible how this looks like. And you have to every time imagine and think about this is what we see is maybe finished. We cannot maybe this uh, the stars are not anymore exist or the star is ready to live now. That is the thing what I like to ins with the space, cosmos, and everything around us. Myself, I like took I uh, like to take pictures from the Milky Way. I took a picture, for example, for a few years in Norway, where you can see barely the stripe of the Milky Way. It's a very nice uh, type of photog photography to do this. For example, um, you need special cameras or special gear uh, to do the special software, but on the other hand, it is nice to think about it. What is up in the sky? What is above us? And that is great. What's now in the 12th of July happened with the James Webb Telescope? You now we can see it. It shoot deeper, like uh, than the Hubble, and hopefully, this telescope works long time, like the Hubble Hubble Telescope. The sister or brother of this amazing huge masterpiece of technology was flying 
around the L1 point so much away from us and yes in conclusion and finish great great work what they do there in the US and sell around the world the space guys the cosmonauts so and I want to say goodbye now have a nice day or evening and think about what happened above us so wish you a good night good day bye bye